So we're ready to begin. We're gonna introduce 10 foundational movements that we'll use for this workout. Each of these exercises, we're gonna complete 30 seconds of work with a quick five second transition to move to the next one. Once we've completed all 10 exercises, we get a minute of recovery and then we get to start all over again at the top. The goal is to get through two to three times. So our first exercise are alternating lunges. We're gonna step forward, keep the chest nice and tall, accelerate and decelerate as you press into it, come back and up. Pushing through the heel, keeping that body nice and tall. We've got a 30 second time frame here and you can move at your own pace. We wanna make sure that you guys are moving in a way that's challenging, but still you're able to maintain proper form. Keep the energy up nice and high. How's it going, Crow? Woo! All right, yeah. nice. Let's keep it up. Five seconds left. Three, two, and one. Okay, alternating knee lifts. We're gonna go ahead and pick up those knees, pull the arms down from the ceiling, keep the body tall. Once again, we're moving at our own pace, so it doesn't matter if you're keeping up tempo with us. You just wanna make sure you're moving in a way that still feels that heart rate increase and your body's challenged. We're gonna go for that same 30 seconds. So just dig your heels in, get ready to go. Keep that form. Picking up those knees higher if you feel like you need to have an increase in that heart rate. Bigger range of the motion, longer reach with the arms. Keeping that consistent work. Five seconds left. Three, two, and one. Well done. Here we go, ready for our butt kickers. This is back from the warm up, picking up those heels, pulling them in towards your glutes. If you wanna get that heart rate up higher, you can reach a little bit further with those arms. Keep the chest tall alternate and keep the body working hard. Committed to that 30 seconds, constantly moving, making sure our form is spot on. How's it going, guys? Great. Good. Good, keep it up. Five seconds left, guys. Awesome. Three, two, and one. Next exercise, we're moving into squats. Go ahead and lower down, weights back in the heels, we wanna keep the full foot pushed into the floor. Keep that idea of your entire foot plate pushing through the floor. So as we transition from that squat position to standing, visualize those feet going right through the floor, engaging through the core. Even how we breathe is important. That exhalation as we're coming back and up. Find your tempo, find your pace, and keep working all the way through. 30 seconds, guys. Keep it up. Great energy. Five, four, three, two, and one, well done. So now we're gonna transition down to what we call tabletop. So our hands and shoulders are stacked, hips and knees are stacked. Go ahead and lift that right leg and the left arm, extend that out, and then they're gonna place that right back where they began, shoulder, wrist, right stacked on top of each other. Fluid, back and forth between that movement, staying on the same side. There we go. So allow that body to stabilize. Notice how her abs are staying in nice and tight, so she's keeping that nice line from the top of her head to her hips. Keep it up, working on that core strength, balance, exhale on that extension. Looking good, guys. How are we feeling? Awesome. Oh, good. Excellent. Keep it up. Move at your own pace on this. It's all about getting that core to stabilize. And our last few seconds here, finishing it up. Three, two, and one. Okay, so now all we're gonna do is we're gonna change our lead leg. So now we have our left leg extended and our right arm. So this bird dog position, we're reaching for length, placing that hand and knee right back in alignment underneath the shoulder joint and the hip respectively. So once again, we're working every time that we come out, we're making sure that those abs are pulled in tight. Also working on keeping our hips level. So as we lift from one side, we wanna make sure we're not dropping into that side. So it's all about core engagement, balance. How are we doing, guys? Great. Nice. Great length in that spine, nice reach. Think about lifting out of the low back rather than compressing down into it. Your last three, two, and one. So now we're just transitioning into a push-up. So these guys have their hands spread out just outside of their chest. They're gonna go ahead and lower their body down towards the mat. Exhale, push all the way up away from the mat. 
So one of the important things with a push-up is that we want to make sure it's just not about the shoulders. We want to make sure the scapulas are pulled back and down, glutes are tight, abs are pulled in tight as well to help support that low back, and even your quadriceps are engaged. Bobby's transitioned into a kneeling push-up here. It's a great way to start when you feel like you're strong enough to go full body like Carson. It's a great opportunity as well. You continue to go five more seconds. You're doing awesome. Three, two, and one. Okay, so now we're gonna take into our account Superman style here. So go ahead and channel your inner superhero. We're gonna lower and push those hips into the ground, lifting up, but more importantly, lifting out. So we wanna make sure that our glutes are engaged as we're lifting up here. Bobby's transitioned into having her hands supporting her head, and Carson has a full extension Superman style. You wanna make sure that we keep that body lifted. There's an exhalation that happens as we lift up not moving anything too quickly, just making sure everything is nice and smooth. Once again, just pushing those hips through the floor, nice fluid movements. Think about your core muscles, it's not just your front muscles, but wrapping all the way around that trunk. So this helps us get all of that targeted together. How are we feeling, guys? Feeling good. good. Great, great core activation. Keep going, we got five more seconds. Finish up nice and strong, keep that breathing going. Three, two, and one. Nicely done. So now we've flipped over onto our backside and we're gonna get ready for reverse crunches. Knees are gonna come up to a 90 degree angle. We're gonna pull those knees in towards our chest as you exhale and then allow those knees to come back out. So notice with Bobby, she's taking her hips off the ground. She's able to do this in a controlled manner. We don't wanna have our hips lift up if we can't carefully lower them back and down. So we're training the body that as we lift and we put load on, we're exhaling and bracing those core muscles. So we're gonna to continue to move through this format, stopping at 90 degrees so we don't put any additional strain on the back. How are we feeling, guys? Great. Good. Core's let up? Oh yeah. Okay, finishing up in three, two, and one. Nicely done. So now we're gonna move into what's called an inverted bike. We're gonna come back to that 90 degree angle with the legs, opposite elbow to the opposite knee. So Bobby's gonna start here with long levers, alternating from side to side. Carson has a little more modified position with those knees still tucked in nice and tight. If you're a longer individual, you might wanna have those knees bent. It's just a little bit easier. So see where you're at. Anytime you feel a strain in the back, we've gone too far and we wanna shorten those levers and bring everything back and in. So this one will light up your core. Is it working? It is. Okay. Oh, yeah. Keep going, tempo can be decided by you. Finishing up in three, two, and one. Awesome. So this completes our 10 first time through of these exercises. So now we're gonna take a minute to recover before we start again to, to complete two to three more rounds. Well done everybody, keep it up.